Facebook Live. This is Kelly Shalal, registered dietitian and personal trainer from Hungry Hobby. Uh, today, I have a very special Facebook Live for you. The past Facebook Lives that I've been doing have been more like demo, how to pack a healthy lunch. We did a smoothie. Last week, I did travel snacks, so you can pack that out. But this week, I'm actually in Northern California hanging out with my in-laws because they're super cool and they let me crash at their house for a week in the nice, cool, well, it's like 80 degrees, but I'm pretty sure it's like 100 in Phoenix. So I'm loving the weather and crashing here. And so I asked my mother-in-law, what should we do for my Facebook Live this week? And she immediately said, let's do um, how to cook an artichoke because she's been telling me forever that cooking artichokes is super easy and when I look at this I think I have no idea what to do with this none at all like what am I supposed to do with this how am I supposed to cook it where are the hearts that I eat out of the can you know so um, she taught me how to cook it last night and so I'm going to attempt to show you how to cook it and if um, I do something wrong luckily she's filming so she could tell us if I do something wrong but artichokes are great. Uh, we're going to boil them today, but you can also grill them or um, steam them. So those are both ways that you can do it. Uh, but today we're going to boil it just because that's how she taught me to do it. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, artichokes are in season right now, which is really cool. Hopefully in the next week I'll be going down to an artichoke farm, which is where we got a recipe that I'm going to uh, teach you how to make from, what is this, Pazzini Farms. So it's somewhere about an hour from where we are now that my mother-in-law visits frequently and she got this awesome recipe for artichokes with lemon yogurt dip. So we're going to make that too. So we're going to make the artichoke and then we're going to make the lemon yogurt dip. So hopefully you guys enjoy and then you have a fun, healthy summer snack. So first thing you do with the artichoke, let's see if I can remember all this. Yeah, it says they're so intimidating. Are you right? They are so intimidating. What are you supposed to do with that? Okay. But honestly, it took my mother-in-law like five minutes to teach me how to do this last night. And the whole time I was like, oh, oh, this is really easy. Oh, dang, I should have been doing this the whole time. So let's see if I can remember how to do it. So the very first thing you want to do is cut off the stem. So, and you kind of just want to make that flat bottom that you always see in the photos. So I'm just going to cut the stem, trying not to cut too much. So that's pretty good. And then you're gonna peel off, I'm gonna put our little, oh, we took the produce thing away. And it's fine. Um, so then you're gonna peel off any of the loose stems like that. That's probably good. Okay, and then these have like super pointy daggers on them. Down. No. So they have super pointy daggers on them. So you wanna cut those daggers off. So you wanna get as much of that top off That's so inch. about an inch she says that's a little less than an inch so I'll go a little more so then you cut all those off mine is not very flat but you know practice makes perfect this is only the first time I'm doing this on my own scissors are here so then you take your kitchen scissors and you cut off the rest of these daggers so we're gonna do that that one's kind of already cut off and at first, when she was doing this, I was like, you don't really need to cut those off, right? They're not that pointy. And then I grabbed one, and I was like, oh, those are literally like thorns. So you do want to cut them off because you're going to end up eating these leaves. So that's going to be, you know, important, you know, to not cut your mouth and stuff. <laughs> okay, so I've got all the tips off of this one. So now I'm not going to do two. I'm just going to do one because you guys don't want to be watching this like forever and a half, I'm assuming. So, uh, P.S. Hope you guys all had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Boop, boop. So, okay. So now in order to clean it, you're basically going to kind of start to pull the artichoke apart, which I would have never known to do if someone hadn't shown me how to do this. So you're going to pull it apart. We lock the cats up so you might hear them in the background. It's better than what I do at my house. My cat just jumps over all over the counter. Yeah, no. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna walk over here and I'm just gonna rinse it. Are you just throwing the dirt? Mm hmm Okay, so then rinse it good. <laughs> 
then it's not in the dirt not in, in the field so I should have already put water so you're gonna put water in what would you say about an inch in here two inches two inches of water in your pot so normally we have what, what would you call this like a two quart pot three mm -hmm. quarts and you could put all four in we're just gonna put one in for the sake of time And then, you, we both like to salt our water, my mother-in-law and I. I always salt my water when I'm trying to get it to boil. But So then I would bring this to a boil first, correct? Yep. And no. then you'll set your artichoke. So this would just be... Just put them in. Oh, just put them in. Okay, so you don't have to boil it first. You can just put it in. So if you can see that, that's how it goes in. And then you just put the cover on, let it boil, and then about 20 minutes after 20 to 40 20 to 40 minutes after it starts boiling i guess that would just depend how many on you have. how many you have and how big it is and you know it's done when you take the lid off and you can pull one one of the leaves almost off of it and that's it so we've got a couple cooked ones back here they're kind of cold right now but um you can really just pull the leaf right off which is great so, and then that's pretty much it. And then if you're wondering how you eat it, you're eating the end of this part. Because I'm always like, okay, that's great. Now what, right? So you're actually in eating and pulling with your teeth off. Like that. See? And that's it. But a lot of people, we just like ours with salt and pepper, but we're going to try this dip because I think it sounds really yummy. So we're going to make that now to be able to dip the leaves in. So this dip, and I will post this for you guys later with credit, but... This dip calls for is an artichoke with lemon yogurt dip. So we're gonna do one tablespoon lemon juice. You guys are gonna see how I really cook now. In the vlog, everything looks so pretty, but I'm super messy of a cook. Like, just almost hazardous, but it's okay, right? <laughs> so, lemon juice, trying not to get the seeds in it. So that's one tablespoon lemon juice. What else does it call for? One tablespoon Dijon mustard. I really like mustard. I'll do it like that. Three tablespoons olive oil. Oops. Yes, this is olive oil in a sriracha bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll in California. <laughs> I think it's kind of clever. All right, and then three fourths tablespoon. Now the recipe recipe calls for plain Greek or plain yogurt. We can only find Greek yogurt in a small size that we didn't want a million cups of yogurt, so we ended up doing that. So we have plain Greek yogurt. So it'll be a little tangier probably. One teaspoon each of grated so lemon zest. My mother-in-law very kindly zested some lemon earlier and then some honey one teaspoon honey probably not gonna be enough honey for me let's be honest but mm -hmm. we'll try it out we'll yeah <laughs> we'll try that out because the Greek yogurt is gonna be a little tangier so and the lemon juice probably could have left the lemon juice out too but um, we'll see how it goes so I'll mix up I feel like this is something that I could just eat the whole bowl of. <laughs> I like yogurt. Hope you guys had a wonderful Memorial Day up in Northern California. We got to walk to wineries, which was fantastic. And we went to McLaughlin Park. All that's on the blog today, if you're curious. Or have a trip to San Jose area or Berkeley coming up. I definitely recommend checking it out. Okay, so now our dip is done. And so I kind of already showed you, but you really just pull off the leaves and you can dip and don't eat the whole leaf just pull off the meat out of it and that is actually really good so highly recommend it because i've clearly never made it before so that's pretty much it any other tips about the middle or anything like that eat it all the way down mm -hmm. and then when you get to the very center you'll see the heart and that fuzz there yeah, there you go. Keep pulling so that down. So this you don't eat, right? Uh, some you can, but if you pull that off, you'll see all the fuzz. 
Oh, okay. So this is where I always get confused. So this part in the center here. You do not want to eat. It will poke your mouth. Okay. So because we don't have a stem, you would just throw this all away, right? Or nope. would you scoop it out? No, that's your heart. Oh, so this is the yummy <laughs> part. Just kidding. Just take the fuzz out. Put it in the, yeah. Discard pile. pile. Is this easier to do with a knife? Um... I feel like a knife takes out too much of that delicious meat from the artichoke. Now, why can't you eat the fuzz? Because it's pokey or just doesn't yeah, taste good? It's just, yeah, it's yucky. Like any When they're warm, the heart comes out, the fuzz rather comes oh, out much easier. Okay. Makes sense. Because, yeah, this is not... But I did get it out. I just had to cut off that piece. And then this is a really yummy part. This is what you always get in the can, the artichoke hearts, right? Yep, that will be. Wow, no delicious. wonder those cans of artichokes are so expensive. Did you see all that? I'm going through that to get to that. <laughs> that is not a lot per artichoke. It's like 50,000 artichokes in one can of artichoke hearts. <laughs> Look, I learned something new today. Okay, so um, hopefully that clears up the how to cook an artichoke thing. I had a lot of fun learning how to do it. It's definitely one of those vegetables I think is super, super intimidating. And actually, it's really not that bad at all. Um, there's tons of recipes online. Now that you kind of get the idea of like what you can eat and what you can't eat, you can be more adventurous and you can look for grilled recipes or steamed recipes. But I love the way that she does it, just boiling it and it's done because uh, it's super yummy. And now we have a snack as soon as we get off Facebook Live. <laughs> Nutrition facts? Um... Artichokes are, especially Jerusalem, artichokes are super high in prebiotic fiber which helps your, um, helps feed the good bacteria in your GI tract. So a lot of times people take probiotics, which I'm a big fan of. I think it's a core supplement that you should take. But if you're not feeding the good bacteria in your stomach, they're not going to hang around. And so um, Jerusalem artichokes and leeks and onions and chicory root fiber, those things are all considered prebiotic fiber. There's others that are listed on my blog that I can link to that are um, will feed that good bacteria in your stomach and help keep you your GI tract running good which keep in mind 80% of your immunity is located in the GI tract so that's like the number one thing that I work with most of my clients on so there's a health reason to eat it <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and if you have any suggestions for any videos uh, please feel free to leave them and like I said I'll share this yogurt dip recipe because it's really really good as soon as possible all right